Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online Spring 14 Application New Features Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online Spring 14 and Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2013 Service Pack 1 introduce many new features and updates in your Serum deployment. Depending on your Serum organization's deployment type, and when it was created, some of the new features may be disabled by default to prevent disrupting your Serum experience. The process for installing these new features will be discussed later. If you are a Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online customer, your organization will have the ability to install the new features when your organization is updated to Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online Spring 14. This update will be installed by the Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online team. Although you cannot control when your organization will be updated to the Spring 14 release, Service area features that are potentially disruptive are not enabled by default. If your organization uses Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2013 on-premises, your administrator must install Service Pack 1 before the new features can be installed and enabled. If you're not sure if your organization has been updated to Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online Spring 14 or Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2013 Service Pack 1, you can click the Settings icon and then click About to verify your version. If the version listed starts with 6.0 instead of 6.1, your organization has not been updated. If the version starts with 6.1, your organization has been updated to Microsoft Dynamics Serum Online Spring 14 or Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2013 Service Pack 1. It is important to carefully review the new features and capabilities installed by the product updates before you enable them. Enabling the new features is a one-way process. Once installed, they cannot be removed. The one exception to this is that if your Serum deployment is on-premises, you can remove the new features by uninstalling Service Pack 1. If you'd already begun using the new features, you may experience some loss of data and customizations by this action. The fixes included in the Service Pack are also removed. The new entities and attributes remain in the system after you uninstall Service Pack 1, but they are marked for internal use within the customization area. It is not currently required to enable the additional features, but they will be enabled automatically in the next major version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. When you opt into installing the new features and improvements available with the latest product update, there are a number of changes that will affect existing forms, views, dashboards, and command bars. Before installing these features in your production organization, it is recommended to test the process in a non-production organization, such as a sandbox instance in Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. For details on what changes occur when you install the product updates, refer to the next lesson in this module. Another recommendation is to reference the latest README document. Each release of Microsoft Dynamics Serum includes an updated README document. This document provides important late-breaking information about the latest release version of Serum. You'll find information such as known issues, including possible workarounds. The product support page on the Microsoft Dynamics Serum Customer Center website is also a recommended resource. There you can find links to important resources, including articles about known issues. Let's take a quick look at how to enable the features available with the latest product update. So this is an on-premises organization, and if I go to the About section, I can see it starts with 6.1 as the version number, so that means Service Pack 1 or later is installed. So that means I should have those product updates installed, and the features are available to enable, but they're not enabled by default. So if I go within the service area, I'll see that some of the different things that should be showing up once those features are enabled are not currently appearing. Also within the settings area, I don't see the new service management section appearing. So even though I have Service Pack 1 applied, those new features have not been enabled, and that's to prevent disruption to my service. Once I'm ready to enable those features, within this administration area here, I need to click Install Product Updates. And you can see below it, it says Install Features and Improvements Available at the Latest Product Update. Once I navigate to this section, it'll give me a little bit more information about what's included with this release, as well as links to some helpful resources to learn more about what's included. I can choose to read more about this here, or access any of these additional helpful links, or I can choose Update. It does warn me that this cannot be uninstalled, so once I'm ready here, I can press Yes to continue. So I'm going to click Yes to continue, and you'll see that it goes through different phases of preparing for installation, installing updates, and finishing up. So once that's finished, it'll show you a congratulations page that the product updates were successfully updated to include the new features. Once this congratulations page appears, you should be ready to start testing out those new features. 
one thing to be aware of is that some of these pages might be cached, so you might not see things right away. So you may need to clear your browser cache or use the control F5 to refresh your browser. So here I'll see that if I go to settings, I don't see the new service management area, but if I hold control and do F5 to refresh my browser or manually clear my browser cache, I should see that that new setting area is available. You can see the service management area now appears, and I'm ready to start using the different features that are available within that area. You might be wondering what exactly happens when I install the product updates. Behind the scenes, a solution called Service Enhancements 610 is installed. This is a special solution that will not appear within the solutions area. Although the solution is not shown in the user interface, you can query for it using the SDK. This may be helpful if you're an ISV and want to handle something differently, depending on whether or not an organization has the new features installed. As mentioned earlier, this cannot be uninstalled except for in an on-premises organization by uninstalling the entire service pack. Once this solution is installed, the new service entities introduced with this update are available to use. Those entities were created during the update to Service Pack 1 or CRM Online Spring 14, but they were not available to use. In addition to these new entities, there are also new items that will appear within the CRM navigation. Also, some existing forms and views will be modified. The full details of these changes will be covered in the next lessons of this module. Earlier, we discussed how the new features can be enabled for CRM organizations that were created prior to this release. Any new CRM Online organizations created after this release will automatically have the new features enabled. After you've installed Service Pack 1 for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 on-premises, any newly created organizations will default to having the new features installed. A new advanced deployment setting is available which allows you to control if new organizations automatically install the new features. If this setting is disabled, any new organizations in the deployment will need to follow the steps shown earlier to enable the new features.